Hello YouTube, I'm Gradimo, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Now, uh, we are still in Alftant, the Dwarven uh, Ruin, the Dwemer Ruin. Uh, now, we are still trying to make our way to Blackreach. We haven't been there yet. And, uh, well, Eric is just, well, over-encumbered. Um, and Lydia has apparently disappeared off the face of the planet. Oh well, whatever. Life will go on. Now, we are still trying to uh, finish the quest uh, discerning the transmundane or something like that. Um, it's the quest to find the Elder Scroll. Um, or the quest line to find the Elder Scroll and the uh, Augma Infinium. Which uh, I used to use that nice Augma Infinium glitch way back then before they packed it. I won't use it now, though. I play legitimate. Okay, um... Palmer, Palmer ears, uh, yeah, amazing. Yes, they are strange. How is that? Hey, Lydia's back! Alright, now... Now, we need to open up that gate. That is my that is my assumption. I assume that gate needs to be opened. Ooh, bring a major health. Oh, there's a chest right there. I almost missed. First try! Oh, I can level up. You know, I think this time I'm going to level up my lock picking. Uh, novice locks are easier to pick. Just because if I can level up my lock picking and get get it up to a hundred and then get the lock picks never break I will have a much better time all right Dwarven Centurion! This is the decision. Alright. Key to Alftan lift. Very nice. So I have to throw a thought out there. What do the what did the Dwemer actually look like? Were they actually, did they look like your stereotypical dwarf, short, stout, fat, potentially, big bearded? Or did they look a little less stereotypical? Son, Were they giants? Get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Hey. Uh, of course, you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back so you can have all the glory for yourself. Ah, I see it now. Okay, now... Welcome to Blackreach. Still here. <laughs> Damn. 
Alright, so I have to say, Special Edition Black Reach is gorgeous. Like, wow. Hey, what's this button do? Oh. Well. Time to kill it. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, now, let's see what is in here. How did you get bear claws all the way down here? All of this. Let's see, what's in the knapsack? Um, that's all I need. Stone bed. Who would honestly want to sleep on a stone bed? Okay. Um, thank you for the spell tomes. Okay. Now I'm going to disenchant some things. And enchant other things. Possibly. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's enchant an iron pickaxe. Or an iron war axe. With frost damage. It feels like a mountain of rocks. Soul gem. We'll use a petty soul gem. Enchantment. Ranger hood. Let's fortify lock picking. Enchantment. Highwayman mail. Let's fortify. Uh, nothing. Okay. Much better. And now we can get the fuck out of here. Still here. Okay. So that quest that I picked up while I was in there it was about picking up. I think I need to get thirty of the crimson urn roots. But am I going to? Probably not. Collecting thirty of those, or it's pretty unlikely that I will. And I think I'll fight a centurion here. I want the soul gem. And you can go down. Downtown. Yeah. Okay. Now that. Now I know that there's something about that place, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Although I will come back down at some point in uh, during my playthroughs to really fully explore Blackreach for everyone to see. Didn't even fucking move. Oh, arrow fodder. See, there's Crimson Nurn Root all over this place, and I need to collect 30 of them for that quest. Now, I will collect 30 Nur uh, Crimson Nurn Root, but I, I do believe Oblivion had a similar quest where you needed to get 100 Nurn Root. And I believe the, that that guy that was in that uh, room that we were just in um, the uh, the dead one where we found the first Crimson Nurn Root. 
I'm pretty sure he was actually the guy that we spoke to about the uh, about Nurn Road in the first um, or in uh, Oblivion. At least that's my recollection. Now it has been quite some time since I've played Oblivion. I may actually pick it up again later and uh, do a full-on playthrough of it. Because really, there's many things about Oblivion that I quite enjoyed a lot more than Skyrim. Such as the fact that the weapons that you found, they were the weapons you found. There were no, there was no way to smith other weapons. Hooray, smithing increased to 75. That's one thing that I, I, I find that that kind of takes out of the... Out of the immersive experience of Skyrim. Is... If it exists, you can make it. Now, unless you were like... Unless, say, you, you backstory... Like, I, I generally do. I haven't quite for... Really, for this one. Really, like, that tiny backstory that I had made up originally. I can't remember if I had uh, told you guys about that little backstory, but basically I think it was just uh, parents are dead, got caught near the border, blah blah blah, that sort of thing. Okay, hold on. There's something. There. Um, Journal of Drocked. I weren't never one for writing about my life. Okay. Then in that case, I will let you have your privacy. Okay. Oh, is that a chest? Oh no, it's stone tables. Ah. I wonder if the Dwemer were all like stone guide you. Okay. Stone receptacle. Oh my god. You fucking scared me. Alright. Um, I don't entirely remember what we're trying to do here. Let's take a guess. No? Oh, there we go. This one until the next button opens up. And hit that button. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we possess the Elder Scroll. And now we may leave. Started. All the way oh shit, yo, we forgot the lexicon. <laughs> oh, are you f fucking for real? Septimus, my man. When the top level was built. I've inscribed the lexicon. Extraordinary! I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Okay, so I need high elf blood, wood elf friend. blood, dark elf blood, orc blood, and Falmer blood. Oh my dear god.
I forgot all about this. Come closer. Back in my presence. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. What do you want with me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Uh, I'll never Behold, join you, vile demon. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. Oh, but I will. Alright, so that was the Wretched Abyss, known as Hermaeus Mora. I think in here, I think this was the Wood Elf. Yes. Harvest Blood. Okay. I've got Wood Elf Blood. Okay, the Orc. Here's the High Elf. And Falmer! Her woman. But I have my own reasons for opening this museum. And I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk good. inside. Now note that this isn't actually where I was planning on getting the Night Elf blood. Or uh, the Dark Elf Blood. Although it looks like this is where I'm going to get the Dark Elf Blood. Feel free to look over. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Let's talk about the job you want done. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. How convenient. Does anything happen anywhere else, or is it all just happening in Skyrim? Uh, At you want me to get those fragments? Gonzol and Draskua are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Any way I can, eh? Oh, okay then. Ooh, park. Poth ap Apothecary satchel. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> well, fuck me. It was that fucking easy. Alright, but we're still finishing this quest in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, I really I really am sorry about being all over the place with what I'm doing in this game. It is, oh my god. Skyrim is just so amazing. But uh, I hope you did enjoy this video as uh, back and forth as it was. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.